Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt that can be found between Mars and Jupiter. It has a diameter of 940 kilometers or 587 miles. It's known as both a dwarf planet and an asteroid, and one thing that scientists have picked up on is that it's so much bigger and so different from other rocky objects out there. Scientists classified it as a dwarf planet in 2006, and it got its name from the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. Going back a while ago, scientists put forward the idea that Ceres may have an ocean and possibly an atmosphere. The recent arrival of a probe has unlocked some of the dwarf planet secrets. NASA's Dawn spacecraft was able to send us back some incredible images. These were high resolution and even gave researchers a look at its famous bright spots. It turns out these anomalies are salt deposits which can be found in the Octa crater of Ceres. NASA have recently discovered a giant ice volcano on the surface of Ceres, and they say it's unlike anything they've seen before. Ahuna Mons is the largest ice volcano on the dwarf planet, and it's known as a cryovolcano. A cryovolcano which is also known as an ice volcano is a type of volcano that erupts water or methane instead of molten rock. After looking at the data, the NASA scientists have said this volcano was created by thick mud. This mud would have once been at the crater of the dwarf planet, but over the years it rose to the surface and then froze. The researchers have said the ice volcano is no longer active, but that there is evidence of fairly recent geological activity. The land nearby shows vertical streams, which showed that something happened here not too long ago, which shows some kind of activity recently happened here. The team were surprised though as Ceres is quite small, and to have a volcano like this the body needs to be creating heat. Normally rocky bodies don't have any kind of activity on them, but Ceres has enough heat to produce a relatively recent ice volcano. One of the researchers at NASA said the following, There is nothing quite like Ahuna Mons in the solar system. It's the first cryovolcano we've seen that's produced by O'Brien and Clay mix. NASA have still shown interest in Ceres salt deposits, saying that the salt deposits give a huge clue about the current activity, while the data and images will help scientists to find answers to how they got there. The results of the high resolution images have been better than hoped for, as they show the rich details of the planet, offering scientists along with others a glimpse of the beauty of Ceres. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.